My name is Hudson Hawks. I'm nine years old, and I'm kind of into soccer. I like training because I want to be the best in the world, the greatest of all time. Got him started at one of the local rec centers when he was about three. He, he wasn't very good. He, um, he spent the whole time trying to climb out. He was just screaming at the door, trying to climb up over the wall and trying to get someone to pull him out. I think we barely finished that season. Oh, I didn't like it when I was little. I just, I just wanted to come off the field. Three or four. Good cut. And I asked my dad if we could have a training session. And then I just started to love it. We didn't take a whole year off, so I'm sure there's probably about six months where he didn't play organized. And so we just played in the house and he started doing some things that I didn't think were normal. But again, I'd never had a four year old before, so I wouldn't know. We took him back and signed up again. And I guess when he came back into playing, it's like if he never really had that previous experience because he was a completely different kid and he just started playing like he did at home and I hadn't seen anything like that before. I've seen him pull off incredible things. The only way I can describe it is that, that kid can see into the future. Everyone thinks that Hudson's just a dribbler, you know, and, and you'll see videos online and, and comments and be like, oh yeah, but he doesn't pass the ball. If you actually watch him in training or watch him in a game, it's, it's completely different. And as much as people want to kind of paint him with a brush that, you know, says he's only individual and, and he's a ball hog or whatever, that's just not reality. And that's kind of just what people see online. That's, the, that's what makes the highlights. But the reality is if you watch him play, he's a very complete player. Hudson was playing on this one field. And then one of our other teams was starting to play right after him. And there were parents on the other field that walked over and specifically asked, is that number 10 playing over here? I want to stop what I'm doing and I want to watch 10. And this was just somebody, I have no idea who they were. Is 10 playing over here? I said, 10 just got finished playing. Okay, I'll go watch that kid anywhere. So that was my first like, okay. I know I'm partial, but when I mean, you've got people that owe us nothing. They didn't have to come tell me that. They just wanted to know if Hudson was playing over here. I have a feeling that that will be a statement that is echoed for many years to come. My friend. Good. Yep, find me. Creep. Good. Good. I knew Hudson was good, but I didn't realize at what age, because there was really nothing to compare him to other than the, the rec players that he was always playing with. And you know, hearing from some of the coaches kind of say the same thing. And you know, this isn't just dad goggles here. It's, this is, this is different. I mean, he's got something that, that I've never seen before. And I think we'd be doing a terrible disservice if we didn't do everything we could to foster it. So the interest from Belgium or from Anderlecht was, was a pretty interesting experience. About two days in, I think, after he played with the 2011s, I think he had two training sessions a day with him. Um, I think the second day in was they sat me down and asked me how serious I was about his career and his future playing. And you know, I, I told him, well, we'll do whatever we can you know, support him so long as he's He's capable, you know, we'll do anything for him and the rest of our kids, so. One coach spoke English, one of them just spoke French. I was scared and nervous that I wasn't gonna know what they were saying. Un, du, trois, quatre, cinq, six. Well, I tried some of their food. I didn't like it, so we just ate what I eat here. At the end, before I left, uh, they gave me a uh, some jerseys and they gave me a signed jersey from all the players from the pro team. Yeah, and it has my number on it. So I think we were there for about 10 days and then uh, they just say bye to everybody in, in Lee, but before we did, they assessed him at his age group. So for the 2011s, technically the highest technical player they've seen. And then the same for the 2010s, uh, the year up, you know, when he, they got to see him train, I think two sessions and technically he was 
they had him at the top of their list for the, you know, for the 2010s. Which one was your favorite? Yeah. Tell me about it. Uh, because it was when we won the World National Futsal Championship. Most of them were mine, but some of them were, well, like the other half is like the, uh, the academies. Oh, uh, Daddy, is this ours? Indoor Soccer World 2016, I mean 18, in Barcelona, uh, there was like this thing where like every team went to dinner and like they had an award ceremony and I won the uh, MVP. You know, we always as adults tell our kids that they have to work hard for what they want. and. The reality is, is that in a world with so many kids that are working, you know, towards a dream, there's always going to be a kid that, that works harder and wants it more. And, you know, Hudson, I think, is that kid. He's so focused and he has this fire within him that I can't believe a, a kid that's nine years old has this. He's just, he's got a fire. He's a, he's a fire. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You either get worse or better when you practice. And I, I try to get better like by a few percent every time because it's hard to get better like by like 10%. Today I'm gonna get like three or four percent better than I was. By the end of the year, I'll be like way better than everybody else. To watch Hudson train, is just unreal. Like there's just no let up at all. He's that kid that's putting in the work. He he literally trains or plays seven days a week. Um, a lot of days he trains four to six hours. And you know, I think for some people that's wild to even think about. And everyone thinks their kid is working hard until you see Hudson and you realize that holy cow, there's a kid out there with the work ethic of any professional athlete out there. And you know he's not a professional. He's a kid, but he just wants it. He has a, he has a goal in mind, and he's very mature in in the fact that he sees that if he wants to achieve his goals, he's going to have to work for it. He wants to make sure that he walks away knowing that he's the best. And I don't know if he does it for me or for himself or for anyone else, but he doesn't like to lose at anything. I myself included. I hate losing, but. I guess I was never willing to do things that he does. They don't want to see you win. Don't play pretend. You don't want to see me win. Boy, don't play pretend. Don't you play pretend. I hear niggas. They don't want to see me win. You don't want to see me win. Boy, don't play pretend. Don't you play pretend. I hear You don't want to see me win. You don't want to see me win. Boy, don't play pretend. Don't you play pretend. I hear like we some friends. You know, when kids play sports, when anyone plays sports, it's your chance to be creative and to create and, and be an artist on the field. And Hudson is a perfect example of that. When he plays, he thinks differently than most kids. He just thinks creatively and outside of the box and he does things that, you know, at this age, you wouldn't think, you know, a kid would think about. And he can get out of the situations in very unique ways that most kids would never imagine doing. And so he really is an artist on the field. And that's the best way I can, I can describe him is when he's at his best is when he's playing free and creative and just kind of in his own zone. Something that impresses me so much about his game is his IQ. I mean, everyone sees the moves he does. I mean, he can dribble out of the back and beat every single player, put the ball in the back of the net like nothing. And he can do it several times in a game. He's checking off the ball, he's doing this, he's setting his teammates up just by his body movement. He doesn't even have to have the ball. You know, it's not just that Hudson is a good player on the ball, it's that he's always thinking about what's next. He makes a pass and thinks about where he should be next to receive the next ball, or how does he create space for a teammate. You know, he, he thinks about the game at such a deep level for this age, and that's what makes him special. You don't want to be a step ahead. You want to be two steps ahead. I think Hudson is past that point. He's not two steps ahead. He's several steps ahead. I think he's brilliant. I think he's determined. I think he's very special. Um, but most importantly, I think he is legendary. He 
tells me the things he's going to do. He's going to be, he's going to play for this team. He's going to do this and that. He's going to be the GOAT. And he tells me he's going to outwork everybody. He's going to work as hard as he, he's going to do whatever it takes. And so and I, just, I, I hear him say these things and I guess he's always talked like that. And I say always, I guess in the, in the last two to three years. And I guess the one thing, if, if he ever looks back at this, I just, I don't tell him I believe you. That's, I think that's about it. And I'm proud of everything he does, but I believe you, dude.